using a form to enter data into a data source or a list or whatever it is that you're using is real important inside of Power Apps. And forms can really be kind of a pain in the neck to deal with. But today we're gonna we're gonna talk about using drop downs within your forms. Notice here we can select whatever value we want, and then that data will appear inside of our data source. So we're gonna add another one of these here, some simple ones that we've been playing with, and we're gonna add one more in this video. So stay tuned. I'm gonna walk you right through it. It's really not that tough, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get right to it. So stay tuned, thanks. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do here is we're gonna, we're adding a new field. And so what you have to do, right, is you gotta find the form itself, okay, right there. We're gonna edit the fields. And here we're just gonna add, the field I'm adding is called note type, right there. Now this happens to be, if, if you notice here, a text field, all right? So note type, we're just gonna click add. Now once you hit add, it's gonna go down here to the bottom. And notice here you have control type. We're gonna go ahead and click on that and we're gonna do this as allowed values. So we're gonna select that and then we're gonna close that out and we're gonna go down to it right there. And there it is right there. Now, there is a document on this. Here's the end result of what we're looking at. So this step that we're on here is we actually created the field before we created the collection. So let's go ahead and create the collection at this point. So the collection is gonna be needed. Notice we jumped um, right to here where we added the switch. So, but we need to do a collection. That's why I have this document. So I stay and make sure you get all of the steps. So let's go ahead and add this collection. And what we're doing here is, is this is just creating a collection of options, okay? And we're calling this one, we're gonna call this one note type. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we're gonna go up to our app here and we're gonna to go to our on start, okay? And we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom, okay? And here I've already created it, but basically you just type in clear collect. This one happens to be task, yes, no, and that's it. That's all you need to do there. And then make sure when you do that, you hit run on start. Now will give you, so you have the right values. Okay, so we're back at the form. We're gonna go ahead and go back to this that we added, okay? And since we're here, we're gonna just make some adjustments. So let's go ahead and make the adjustment. But before we go into making those adjustments, click on the whole data card. You see it right here? This data card, we don't want these areas. We just want the whole data card. We're gonna click on advance. We're gonna say unlock to change the properties, okay? And then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna change this. We're gonna say um, task, yes, no, okay? And we wanna change the value there. We wanna make this a 10. Okay, and we're gonna keep it at height of 28. Then we're gonna change this box, right, which is the drop down. We're gonna change its value to 25, and we're gonna keep it at 10. And here we're gonna keep this um, because we want to, when we adjust this outside box, which we're doing next, we're gonna, our is 180 by 80, okay, is what I'm using. So. I have the consistency for all of these boxes so that when I place them, I'm gonna place them up here. When I place them, they kind of go kind of to the area that I want them to go into, okay? So, so that now we're done adjusting it. Notice here, we're good to go. Now we need to click again right there on the data card value right there where the drop down is. And notice it goes to items. If it doesn't, you'll need to go over to items. And here we're just gonna put in that collection. And in this case, it was task, yes, no. Now notice that it, there is a default which is set inside the data source, but you can reset that. But now you're good to go. So when you, when you look at this, now you can adjust, it makes it nice. And this is just a different way to control data within the environment. So that's all there is to adding that. Now, if you wanna stay tuned, I'm gonna show you just kind of a trick on moving things around in here. So here we know what this is, right? This is 200 uh, by 
80. Now we want all of these to be 180 by 80, so that's fine. But notice here we have some blank space as well. Well, the reason why we have some blank space up here is because the task name is longer and it's not letting us pop those in there. So we wanna pop a couple in there. So we're gonna take the bill month value and we're gonna focus on that and we're gonna move our items up underneath bill month and we're gonna see what happens. Now, I'll be honest with you, it's a little weird sometimes. It doesn't quite work the way we want it to, but um, let's go ahead and give it a shot anyways. So we're gonna move this guy here. We're gonna drag him up, just keep him, notice the, the line there and we see bill month right there and we're gonna drop him right there, okay? Now, he moved up and this guy moved down, okay? So, it's just, you kinda have to play with it a little bit uh, to get them to all pop into place. It's like a game almost. So, let's do one more and just so you can see, we're gonna put this invoice switch um, right below what we just dropped up there, which was um, archive. So bill month, task name, assign task name, bill month. Now notice that archive doesn't even show up there. Although we know it's there, it doesn't show up. Now it's showing up down here. And if we look for invoice switches, so it's kind of weird the way it works. You're just gonna have to play with it. So anyways, that's how you do that. Create these drop downs. Now when you go into here, uh, you'll have to tweak it a little more, but you can say yes or no. And then when you hit save, then the form, all those changes save within your form. Good luck.